What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So, today for y'all, I do have another early review. I told y'all I would be dropping this video whenever the shoe would come in, and it finally came in today. So I'm making this video for y'all right now. So before we do jump into the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to my guys at Perfect Fit Kicks and Kamikaze's Kicks on Instagram. Y'all have had me shirt, y'all have heard me shout them out several times before. Y'all will continue to hear me shout them out again. Go hit them up, check them out on Instagram if you need early pairs, if you need pairs that recently came out. They will get you right as y'all see plenty of times now between my videos. They have gotten me right several different times. So, like I said, I do have an early view for y'all today. And that shoe is the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. And this is an interesting shoe. I've talked about this shoe before in a couple videos that I've done previously. And I think my sentiments still say that still feel the same as they did in the video as, as seeing the shoe in person. Now, I will tell y'all how I feel about them again at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and jump into this early review over the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. Now, a quick history lesson before we do jump into this review. Now, the Air Jordan 14 Ginger originally released back in 1999, but not as a mid-cut. It was actually a low-top version. Now, we have not had a retro of the low-top version since 1999, and honestly, now that we're getting a mid-cut, it's no telling when we'll see a, a retro of the low-top version. So, you know, you just kind of have to deal with having the mid-top, unfortunately, for those that like the low-top over the mid-top, you know. It is what it is. Y'all know how Jordan Brand gets when they release certain things. So jumping to the box, we're going to get this review started. So you do have an all black Jordan. This is the 14 box. You do have that uh, ginger colored Jordan Jumpman in the middle there. And they're just going around the rest of the box. It is just black all around the box. It's a nice 360 there. All right, moving to the label. The label reads Air Jordan 14 Retro. The color is light ginger, black, and white. This is a size 9.5 in men's. Retail price is 200 Now, unfortunately, this, this was one of the shoes that were unfortunately caught up in the delays from earlier this year. So, that I believe they were supposed to come out either in June or July, but now they have been pushed back or were pushed back to August 17th. So, that is the current release date for these. So, just a couple weeks away. Hopefully, there's no more movement on that date. But, of course, like everything else, it'll just be a wait and see until we get closer to that date. So moving to the interior of the box, you do have a white inside of the lid here. And then these do come with black paper. So you have black paper here. And then you also have white paper as well. And then the rest of the box here as well. So just more white. And you do have a green sticker on the inside of the box here as well. But it is white all the way on the inside. All right. And then, of course, the bottom of the box, that is what the bottom looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the shoe. So this is the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. I'll give you all a quick 360. Now, before we jump into this review, I will tell you all how I feel about this shoe. Now, if you look at the shoe from the, the back portion, so like if you cut off the toe box and you look at the shoe from this way back, I really do like the shoe. I like how the shoe looks. I like the back end view of the shoe. But when you add the white toe box, I just, I don't like the white toe box on this shoe. And, and I know this is how the uh, original version came back in 1999. It did have that white toe box. But I think for me, it would look so much better if they just had a black toe box and not a white toe box on here. But that's just my opinion. If y'all are wondering how I felt about the shoe, that is how I feel. Now let's go ahead and jump into this review. So starting with the outsole, you do have a regular Jordan 14 outsole with all black. And you do have the hint of white on there, and then you do have the ginger right here with the in the 14 and Roman numerals, and then the white Jordan jumping in the middle of the foot there, or middle of the outsole there. Now moving up to the midsole, you do have a rubber midsole, and it is white, and then you do see some black pieces on there as well. So that wraps around there. You do see the front of the toe box here, and then continuing back to this side. All right, now moving to the upper. So you do have two different materials on the upper. First, starting, we'll start with the leather. So starting with the toe box, you do have a white leather on there. And I'm not gonna lie, it is a little, it's a stiffer leather, Not no, it's, there's no tumble to it. Um, but it, like I said, it's a stiffer leather. And then of course you do see the black Jordan Jumpman logo on the toe box as well. Now moving to the back portion of the shoe, and of course with all the ginger colorway, that is all a new buck. And the quality on the new buck is pretty nice. So that ginger colored new bucks wrap wraps all the way around the shoe here, and then back to this side as well. 
And then on this side, you do see the Ferrari themed uh, Jordan badging there with the Jordan Jumpman logo on there. So it is right there. Now moving to the laces, these do come with black laces already in them. They don't have any additional laces, but honestly, I think black laces look best in this. I would be curious to see if someone put like a ginger color lace in here, but I think for me, if I were to get this shoe, I would prefer the all black laces in here. Now these laces do come with a silver metal lace tip. So that is what we see right there. So that is on both sides, both lace tips. Now moving back to the tongue, like I said, you do have a black tongue and then at the top of the tongue you do have Jordan written out in that Jordan, in that ginger colorway. And then that is the rest of the tongue right there as well. Alright, so moving to the back of the shoe, so you do have another white Jordan Jumpman logo on here and then two, three printed on the back as well. So that is the full exterior of the shoe. Now let's go ahead and jump into the interior of the shoe. So starting off, you do have a paper shoe tree with these. It's just regular paper shoe tree. And then continuing on, put this over here. So on the back of the tongue, that's where we'll start. You do have more uh, Roman numerals, the number 14 in the Roman numerals. And then of course you do see the sock liner. It is black with these. So you have a black sock liner. You also have a black insole with these as well. So that is that. And like I mentioned, you have a black insole, so let me take it out. All right, so on the insole, you do have a white Jordan Jumpman logo, and then of course, like I said, the black, full black insole. And then if you flip it over to this side, you do have black on the outside, and you have hints of that blue on there too. And there's some writing on here. It says Riviere. That's what's right there. All right, so continuing on, we'll go to the tongue tag real quick, and I can tell you the production date. So the production date on here, is January 19, 2022 to May 13th, 2022. All right. I, I lied. Not May. I, I'm like over here trying to calculate in my head. Not May. April uh, April 13th, 2022 is the correct day. I'm like, it's been a long day. Uh, my mind is tripping right now. But that is everything with this shoe. That is the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. All right. I'll go ahead and show you the other shoe as well. You see, y'all can get an idea. Both shoes do look the same. So no differences in the two. So quick 360 on these. Here's the back of the shoe as well. And I'll show you the outsole right here. But like I said, overall, that is the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. If you're looking to resell these, I would not recommend reselling these. I, I don't see them doing too well resale-wise. If you're looking for them for personal, like if you had the original back in 1999, or you're just looking, you like the colorway, or looking for a re-up on your pair, I would highly recommend getting this one. Like I said, just for personal, I would not resell it. I, I just don't see it doing too well on the resale market. But overall, that is the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. Let me know how y'all feel about these. Is it a must cop? Is it a pass? Are you a fan of Jordan 14s? I think I have one pair of Jordan 14s. I think I had the Toro Bravo 14s and I ended up selling them and I kind of wish I didn't. But at the same time, I probably wasn't going to wear them for a while. So not the biggest fan of 14s. I do like some colors, some colors I don't. This one's all right to me, like I said. It's just the white toe box is what throws it off for me. And that just makes me not like the shoe. So I won't be getting a personal pair of these. You know, not gonna trip, it, it is what it is. But like I said, let me know if y'all are gonna go for these, if this is gonna be a cop for you, or is it a drop? As always, hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. I think it's gonna, I'm posting this on Friday, so have a great weekend. Whatever you plan on doing, hope y'all enjoy it. As always, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content. There's, I always just say, just watch out for the early reviews. At, at any point, I can get a pair, so it's just no telling. It's just waiting around to see them, but that's why I say turn on the notification bell so you know when I post something. But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping in, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.
Thank you.